Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do some doodling because that's just as important as painting and rose balling. So let me take you on a little tour. So I don't know about you, but I am always doodling. And I'm going to start one from the beginning. But I'm sure a lot of you will sit in meetings or perhaps in church or in class and you can't quite sit still. I know I always have an issue with that. So I actually do a lot of doodles. So looking through my books, literally, I had doodles upon doodles upon doodles so here we go in church now this doesn't mean that I'm not paying attention when I'm doing different things I'll look at this one here we go I mean look at my notebooks here I went through all my different notebooks just to see what I have most of the time I'm doodling in pen or pencil sometimes I'll doodle in marker colored pencil Oh boy, look at this one. This is like crazy, taking notes. I know this was actually while I was taking a class, a portrait class. And I literally just sat, took my notes, but I, I also doodled. I don't know, for me it it's, helps me to pay attention as I'm doing different things. Sometimes I'm working out a problem. I don't know, what do I have in here? Oh my goodness. Some of these go way, way back. So anyway, all right, so here's a little perusal. I actually really like this book. You know, I realized as I was looking through these things, I really need to go back and pull out different designs and see what I can do with them. Because, wow, I have a lot to work from. Oh, well, sketching people, sketching different things fun sometimes to look back at old books that have designs. Look at all these things. Oh, working on some Nissa. I gotta play with that. Alright, down to work. Let's doodle a little pattern here. Alright, so I'm doing handheld today. Just so you guys can kind of watch as I go. So you know in the past videos. I've been talking about C-scrolls and S-scrolls. Eh, I don't like that one so much. Let's try that again. Let's start from here. All right, here's my C-scroll. All right, I'm going to pull that around, and that will be kind of my root of my flower. All right, now I'm bringing up an S. Now, I personally think doodling is good for the soul. Gives your hands something to do, gives your brain something to work on. But in rose modeling, as you're learning the different strokes, and especially with paint, I know it makes people very nervous, even though I tell people it's just paint. Sometimes it's just fun to play with a pen or a pencil. Maybe it's a little less scary than working with paint. You can kind of play with the little formations. If you notice, I'm doing little C's, pulling it around. I'll put a nice little flower here. It's kind of a happy little flower. Pull around a stem. So when you're sitting at home watching TV, or you're sitting in a meeting, again, doesn't mean that you're not paying attention as you doodle, but you can sit and play with these different strokes. So C, 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 C. I could pull an S off the back of it. But notice what I did. I did a bump and then an S. It kind of gives you a little freedom to just play with this. Again, maybe it's not as scary as paint. Okay, so just like when I paint, I'll pull my doodles around because I'm still pulling my 
brush. Okay, maybe it's not a brush. It's a pen this time. I'm pulling my pen with me. Isn't it fun to go around? All right, I'm just making forms. Maybe off of this C here. Well, let's put some a flower kind of forming off the back of it. Remember, rose modeling is not actual flowers. They're based on flowers. Sometimes they look a little more realistic than that, but they certainly look and give the feel of flowers. Now, I'm doing the telemark style in sketching here and for rose modeling. It's very asymmetrical. You always have a C stroke and then an S stroke and then you build off of it. I don't have quite the rhyme or reason as I'm doing this, but isn't it fun just to play around and fill a shape? I'll just keep forming it. I'm still pulling it off of there. Let's pull some tendrils off. Maybe I want to throw a C stroke off here. Just because a little S form. Because then in between I could put a little flower in there. And I just go. It's funny what shows up. And then I save my doodles. I actually have a file folder that just says doodles. You know, I might be on a little piece of paper or a receipt, and you never know, it might be an actual great basis for a, a design. Like I said, sometimes when I'm sitting, wherever I'm sitting, taking notes, doing whatever, in the back of my mind, I'm trying to work out a design for a piece. So I always have something that will form from that. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Oh, then we can add a little, maybe a little detail work in there. Maybe come up here, pull it around. It's just fun to play. Again, maybe this is a nice way for you to play around with the shapes. You know, sometimes you can just form a flower and kind of do a C and an S, a C and a C. Maybe I'll come around this way and I'll form another leaf off the side there. You know, when I'm working with Holland Doll, it's symmetrical. So maybe that will give an idea there. I can bring it around the other side. So as you see, it's just about having fun. And it's soothing, because isn't it nice to have soothing things in your life? So don't be afraid to just play around with a pen, your brush for today. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my doodle world, oh, paper towel, butterflies being worked on. And take a little time to sign what you've done. Happy painting to you all, and remember, it's just paint or it's just ink. Take care.